Hey folks, Chad with Data Prep U here. Today we're going to take a quick look at scheduling your Alteryx workflows to the Alteryx server. Let's go. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a quick workflow that leverages Weather Underground's API service. Now, the ultimate goal here was just to create a quick process that downloads current conditions and then puts together a little email of what those current conditions are in plain text, leveraging the download data tool, uh, the report text tool for more dynamic uh, input and, and updates of that text information, all the way leading down to the brand new still in uh, beta visual layout tool, emailing me whatever I actually have specified. Now, from here, what if I wanted to put this on some sort of regular frequency like Maybe I wanted to get this uh, every single morning at 7 a.m. Well, with the Alteryx server, you can actually schedule this by clicking on options and then schedule workflow. Now, if you've been following the channel for a little while, you might recognize this from the desktop automation video that I created. Uh, in that case, you would have clicked on my computer, but if you do have that Alteryx server, what you would wanna do is then click on your actual analytics gallery that gets created. When that happens, you are presented with a little save workflow dialogue. You have additional workflow options where you can manage different uh, actual data assets that are actually included with that. So it might be a custom macro or some lookup tables and so on and so forth. But from there, you just go ahead and save that workflow. This will actually push that out to the Alteryx server where you can then view that in a browser. Now, I use Chrome here. So once this uh, workflow actually pops up into my browser, you'll actually see that I have this option to schedule that workflow. Now, once I click schedule, you'll see that this is gonna be a familiar interface with that desktop automation video that you might've seen, where you can schedule this to run one single time or on a more recurring basis. So in my case, I might say I want this daily uh, at something like, uh, 8 a.m. So it's relatively simple. I just go ahead and click on 8 a.m. Once I set that 8 a.m., I'm gonna go ahead and tell this to go ahead and start tomorrow on the 17th on St. Patrick's Day and then click on done. Now I can see that that workflow has been successfully saved and that schedule has been successfully created. At any point in time, if you wanted to see any sort of results from this, you might actually have to go into the admin settings. So the admin settings are gonna look more like something that you would see from that curator uh, privilege that you would have. So from here, you would just go down to that jobs category, and then you could see any sort of results of any schedule processes that are actually located in that Alteryx uh, server. Here, if I click on schedule workflows, I can actually see the that my weather uh, update workflow is set. And the next time that it is going to run is actually tomorrow uh, at 8 a.m. So quite a bit of information. I can delete that schedule directly in that browser. I can edit that schedule. I can see the number of times that it's run uh, and so on and so forth. This has been scheduling your Alteryx workflow to the Alteryx server. I'm Chad with Data Prep U. Thanks so much for watching. Hey folks, thanks again so much for watching the show. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe to our channel. Those two little actions are a tremendous help to us. I've also included a link to the workflow that I used in this very video if you'd like to check it out yourself. In addition, please go ahead and create an API key at weatherunderground.com in order to leverage that workflow. And finally, if you have not yet downloaded or tried Alteryx, what are you waiting for? There's a link to a two-week free trial in the description below. Thanks again. Have a great week.